What we are um, interested in in this piece of research is in trying to understand what is the effect of social interactions on the financial behavior of people, of households. And, and in particular as applied to the stock market. The more fundamental question that underlies the research is trying to understand whether social interactions are a source of information or whether they are a source of noise or of uh, misinformation. We think that this is important um, on the one hand because uh, over the last 30 or 40 years we have witnessed a transfer of financial responsibility away from the state and towards uh, individuals. And when you couple that with the appallingly low levels of financial literacy that have been detected in the general population, um, that gives rise to very serious concerns, especially amongst the financial uh, regulatory and supervisory authorities. So we find that people with more or better informed friends are uh, better informed themselves about actual facts that make them form expectations of a return upon investment that are more realistic and therefore make them more likely to invest in the stock market and conditional investing invest more. The main takeaway of our research is that people uh, seem to rely on uh, their social interactions in order to make the right de decisions for the right reasons. That also points towards social interactions as a potential trigger that can be acted upon in order to increase the low, financially, the low financial literacy levels in the population. We also have a caveat, which is that this is um, still preliminary work and that we do not know enough about it, but that we think that the findings are interesting enough in order to grant further scrutiny in the form of a more stable and reliable source of information or of data that we can gather in order to better understand not only the prevalence of the phenomenon but also the mechanics of it. Yes.